First of all, branding, reputation, management, and engagement are key aspects of strategic communication, naturally. But when you represent an institution like the European Union, you have to take into account many aspects, uh, many considerations. First of all, the European Union is not an organization like the United Nations. Is an organization where member states have given or relinquished many of their competencies. So therefore, it's a unique political animal. And in terms of foreign policy, there's an additional element that makes communication quite tricky, which is consensus. You know, for the European Union to have a policy, you need consensus. So therefore, branding and reputation are tied somehow to these complexities. And therefore, I always try to explore ways to explaining, you know, this complexity when I have my media engagement, my interviews uh, through social media. I think the explaining part is quite important, in particular in this region, uh, because many people are not familiar with these complexities. Well, naturally, the EU as an institution uh, composed of 27 member states that have many differences. Actually, the motto of the European Union is united in diversity. It is natural for people not only to grasp the complexity, but also to uh, get somehow mixed messages. And sometimes even the European Union conveys mixed messages. Um, this happened before, it will probably continue to happen. So one of the challenges that we face as communicators in this region is once again to try to make sense or make some sort of um, you know, uh, this policy coherent. Um, the policy itself exists. Your job is to sell it. And in order for you to do that as a communicator, you need to see or identify patterns, patterns that repeat themselves and that connect with the region. And there, I think the important aspect is empathy. You need to adapt the message to the region. A message that works in Europe may not work in the MENA region and vice versa. And that's what makes the job challenging. Well, as an institution, the EU has, uh, allow me to say this, a rigid communication approach. And it is not a novelty, uh, it's quite common when you talk about international institution. Um, therefore, the communication of the EU is an institutional communication. Uh, my take is that we need to uh, perhaps innovate a bit, innovate and adapt ourselves once again. I go into the adaptation, uh, uh, let's say, aspect of communicating in the region which is using new platforms, um, not only social media platforms, but also engaging with people out of our comfort zone. And this is something that our ambassadors, our head delegation are already doing, but I think we need to do it more. We need to connect with the youth. And the Imena region has many assets, but perhaps the most amazing assets is youth. And through this, I think it is up to us in Europe to invest in the future of youth, because indeed it's the future for everyone.